Now you can go ahead and just lock all your pinch rollers down. This is in the up position. Lock it down. He's got some plastic there behind him. This one's already in the down position right here. I'm gonna set these two over in the standby position over here. I cut PPF, I only use two pinch rollers to avoid press lines. Make sure they're locked down. This is your blade holder. And this is what the blade itself will come in. So you can open the blade holder like so. Just unscrew the blue part. Then get your blade out. And it's got a little cover on it. So just take that off. So, sharp point right there that goes downward. Just drop it in there, like so. Screw the top piece back on. And this is your adjustment, this knob on the back here. So I'm gonna turn it until I see the blade start to pop out. I'm gonna bring it back down a little so it's flush with the blue part. So you can just barely feel it. So you've got notches on here. So the turning piece has a notch and then there's notches on here to line it up with. So I'm gonna do one full rotation, which is five turns, and then one more. And that's about all you need as far as how much blade is supposed to be out. Once you get the blade set, you're going to unscrew this, pull the black collar back, drop it in, and always make sure that this is over the top. It's kind of hard to see. So that's over the top of the blade holder. Tighten it back up and it's good. All right, to go. so once you have the blade in there, you can come over here and power it on. It's gonna start up. Got a roll of 3M Pro Series loaded in here, like so. Now all you do is pull the lever down going to ask you one rear set, two rear set. You're going to press one. I've got my pinch rollers set like so. You have to make sure that the pinch roller, the wheel, lands on a grit roller. If not, it'll give you an error message. So, hit rear set. The is going to scan for the material. and it's reading the material through here. So you gotta make sure that that always stays clean as well. All right, so it's on user one, condition one. So set at speed 30, force 14. So what I'm gonna do is go into condition, condition one, press enter. And from here you can change your speed and force. So I'm gonna change the speed to 20. I'm gonna press four now. Change the force to about 16 to run my first test cut. We wanna make sure that when we do a test cut, when we're setting these up, that you don't damage the cutting strip. So I'm gonna do lighter pressure and probably what's needed, but I also just want to make sure. So we don't want the blade to drop through the film, through the liner, and damage this cutting strip. So for a test cut, we just go press the left arrow key. It's going to ask you to move it into position. You can move the head unit over to wherever. Wherever you want. So. Once you have it positioned where you want it to do a test cut, press enter. 
that's what it's going to do is cut you a little square and triangle right there. So go ahead and weed that out and just... All right, so I weeded it out. It's actually cutting a little deep right now, which is okay. It only cut into liner. It didn't cut through. So now you know you can back off the force. So again, it's already set right there. So now I'm just going to press four for force. Bring it down to 14, press enter. Now I'm gonna press left arrow key, move it over a little bit. And I'm gonna press enter again, and let it run another test cut. And all right, so at force 14, it's still cutting it a little deep. Again, not all the way down to the cutting strip, so. We're gonna adjust it again. Run another test cut, move it over. And we have landed on speed 20, force 11 for 3M Pro Series right now. So now we're just gonna hit menu to go back. And to feed out the material, press down arrow key. It's gonna go very slow, just press the fast key, roll it out a little. So you can see right here on speed 20, force 11. There's no cut in the liner and it weeded out really nice. Right here, had a very, very little into the liner and here it was just a little more and a lot more. So this looks good. So now you can go and set up your software with your computer. All right, so once everything's set up, powered on, you've done a few test cuts, you can come over to the 3M Patterns and Solutions Center software, hit File, Install Cutting Devices. So we're gonna scroll through here, find Graph Tech, but we're also just gonna make sure that nothing else is checked. So there's graph tag. Highlight that and then I'm just gonna keep scrolling through just making sure nothing else is checked in here. Roll window is uh, pre-checked, so we're gonna uncheck that. Everything's unchecked, press next. It's gonna take you to the specific model. This one is an FC 8600. 160 and we are going to use GPGL first and press next. All right, so once you have the plotter, the driver loaded into the software, I've just got some generic door cups pulled up here. So we're going to go and press cut. It's going to cut some door cups for us. So we know now that we are on the right setting. So the plotter is communicating with the software. So I'll let it cut. And now we're gonna use the crosscut function. So just press crosscut one. And the crosscut blade is inside the head unit. So when you use crosscut, what it does is it resets your origin point. So you don't have to do it manually. If you cut it off with a blade, say in this groove where you pull it out farther, after you cut a piece, you wanna make sure you come over here and press origin to reset the origin. But if you use cross cut, it automatically does it for you. So say I roll it out. If I want it to start cutting right here now, just come over here, press origin and now it'll cut from here, all this material is blind to it. I can adjust it back up. I can reset the origin again. And it'll cut from there now. So a reminder again, just make sure when you're cutting, if you're just using 
two on the roll, put the other two over in standby.